Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to show you a haul. And this is a watercolor haul. Um, and those of you who have me on Facebook saw that I did a sign with watercolors. And when I made those, uh, that one sign, I realized that I, I really miss painting. I, I love it. it. It brings me peace. And since um, I love just art, I thought I need to get back into something that I can be... A, like a stress reliever so to speak so um i got a couple of um watercolors and they're not the best or maybe you know the, the most expensive or whatever but um i got what i think i could use for now um i did see many uh, youtube videos with these watercolors and they have very good reviews so um of course later on i do want to get some different watercolors but for now these will do so let me get started um, I got this one and it's the Koi watercolors and it's, uh, Sok Sokura, I think it's called. And, um, it comes in with a little tray. So I, in, when I seen YouTube, I was checking to see which one's the most, um, useful one for beginners because I'm not a pro. So, um, it's just that it's a stress reliever, so to speak. So it comes in this little case. See, it says Koi watercolors. And then it's like a very hard acrylic. So you open it up and then you have a little mixing um, palette type of thing. Let me put it this way so you guys can see. So this comes off. It, you can see it has like a little little um, feet. So you can even put it on the side on your table. And this is where you're going to mix your colors and do all that doodling and stuff. Or you can also put it on the side like that. But it does insert into these little holes. To close it up good and then inside you have this pen right here and this pen is actually used um, it's a brush pen and you put water in it so you fill it up all with water and then um, you close it up like this screw it on and then you're ready to use your watercolors um, this is for like a traveling it's good for traveling um, very compact very easy to pack so it comes with all these little colors. I think they're called half pens. Um, not really sure, but I think that's what they're called. Um, and it comes with a variety of colors. Of course, you can mix here. This is why you would do another color. And it comes with these little sponges on the side, which is to clean out your brush. So if you have too much water or done with that color, so all you do is clean it off right there on the side. And that's it. You're done. And then um, you just get it and reclose it again close your case and bam you can even put this on like your purse um if you go anywhere where you're gonna take long or whatever then just take it with you so then i got these and these are the tube watercolors uh, the same brand it's from koi and this one has 18 little tubes in it so let me show you so it's these right here and it's a good size. Um, let me see. Each one has 12 milliliters in there. So it's a good size. And like I said, they're not that expensive. They're pretty cheap. Um, here's all the colors that it contains. And if you guys would like to see like a, a, a review on these, you can definitely um, search up Koi Watercolors. On YouTube and there's like a bunch of artists on there using these and they're amazing they, they do a lot of things with that so anyway um, then I got some brushes and these are some it says artist brush and it's a little set and there this is not like a pro set just a beginner set so that's that then I got two pads of the watercolor postcards which is uh, very awesome it contains 15 and then it's a 4 by 6 and I love it. The texture is awesome. But what I love most is that it has the already to post. So when I bought it, I thought it was going to just have this right here. But then I saw that it had the to put the stamp and the writing and everything. I loved it. It's absolutely awesome. So I got two of these. And then I got some other water brushes. Again, you can fill them up with water and they will work great 
Another thing that you can do with these is you can put in the um, water and put in some watercolor ink, the loose ink, and then they'll be your colored brushes. So it'll be awesome. Um, then I got these markers right here, and these are the Stad Stadler, Stadler or something like that. Um, and it's 36 colors, and um, it says 6 neon, and they're super fine, and it's a 0 0.3. These are amazing. They're very, very awesome. They're very bright. Um, they're used for your planner, but you can also use them for drawing. Um, again, if you want to see a review on these, definitely um, go online and check them out. You'll see how they use it. It's very awesome. Then I got this right here, which is some watercolor brush pens. So it's kind of like the Copic. Of course, Copic is way beyond better, but... Um, these i love these they write so beautifully and um like i said they're watercolor so you can draw and then add the water and that's what they are um they come in a very nice uh case and they it's in a plasticky type of case so let me see that's plastic and then this is what they look like so it's a a brush let me get it uncovered and that's what it looks like and it's very bendable very flexible very brush like and then it covers and then it has the color in the bottom it doesn't have the name um unless you can read japanese or chinese i'm not sure what language that is in but um for me it doesn't bother me that's all the colors that it comes with it's they're super awesome. I tried them yesterday and I love them. I fell in love with them. Um, and that's it, guys. So I just wanted to show you this watercolor haul. If you have any questions, comments, let me know down below. You can find me on Facebook. You can message me there or message me here. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.